Hey, this is Kaiser GX. Today we're doing a different kind of video. We're checking out Xbox Design Lab. Uh, this is a website where you can design and customize your own Xbox controller and actually buy it. I designed mine a couple months ago. Uh, they all should be shipping around September. And for $79.99, as you can see up here. Uh, these are the controllers that are coming with the Xbox One S. The big difference is that you can now use Bluetooth functionality. Which means you can connect to your PC, your mobile devices. I'll be using it to connect to PC and Steam Link. Or if you guys have a Steam machine, you can connect it to that as well. Uh, supposedly the analog sticks are more accurate. Not exactly sure how. That was in the news notes that came out. And I think... Oh yeah, and the handles now have a sort of textured grip on them. They're not like the ones on the on the Lunar controllers or any of the ones I've been out before. They're kind of like little plastic bumps that are on the handles. I saw them in person at the one of the Xbox, I mean one of the Microsoft stores. Uh, they're not as good as the Lunar ones, but they're, just, they're still, you know, good. It's better than having nothing on there. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and recreate the controller that I am getting. I am doing an NES design. It's not an exact one-to-one -one NES design because of limitations with this. However, it's uh, pretty close to... It's not, it's not designed after a specific controller. It's just like the NES in general, which I'll explain in a bit. Like the gray uh, Nintendo consoles up to the GameCube I uh, have been using this gray color with the black d-pad unfortunately I cannot use red for the buttons and I feel like using this colored these colored buttons are too um, they're too modern for the look that I'm going for so I decided to go with gray on black I also didn't want to use too much too much black or too much gray and there's also another reason I chose the black, which I'll mention in a bit. For these colors, I chose the dark gray. I wanted to put a design on there that was taken from the X, no, not the Xbox, the NES dog controller, dog bone controller. Uh, the buttons are there, alright, are really gray. But I also noticed a couple of days ago on the original NES controllers, the start and select buttons on there are actually a darker gray. And all this time I thought they were black. I guess I just never looked that close into them. So that's the color for them. For the back of it, I chose a darker gray. And again, as I said, this is a design, a design for the NES in general, not just a controller. So in a way, this is going for the look of the actual console itself. And you put it on the side like this. You know how the actual NES console has a dark gray bar at the bottom. The top is a lighter gray, and then there's a black bar on the right. Well, this is why the buttons are black here. It's supposed to simulate that black bar. It's not an exact design, but it's a it's a more subtle um, way to do it, I guess. Going on with the thumbsticks, yeah, I could have gone with gray. Um, though that looks that looks more uh, N64 controller to me. And again, I could go with black, but I think black is overused. So I went ahead with gray. I mean gray. I mean, I went ahead with red. If you guys remember the NES Max controller, that had a red analog stick on it. Actually, it wasn't an analog stick. It was more like a thumbstick because this didn't stick out as much as it does here. It was closer to the. It was closer to the controller, and it was just like a circle that's meant to emulate the D-pad. Some people like it, others don't. Uh, personally, I never use it myself, but I thought it was a good design to put on this to make it look more NES-like. Especially since I can't make the buttons red. Might as well do it with the analog sticks. And that's also something I brought over with the triggers, which I made them red. First, I did not like the design. I did not like this design. It did grow on me over time. And this is supposed to represent the triggers on the NES Zapper, the gray model, not the orange one that I hate. Uh, it's supposed to represent the gray model. So in a way, like, 
usually zappers are known for shooters and stuff. And I thought that was a good idea to put them as the triggers because the zapper is a gun. And that kind of feels like I took this chunk off and just like slapped that on the controller. Because the zapper also has dark rays, light rays, and red for the trigger. So overall, that's why I said it's not based on the on, on any specific NES controller. But it's more based on the NES itself and all the accessories. It's an homage to everything that the system was. And here we're going to see, uh, I guess, a bit more previews of what it's going to look like. I think overall it looks pretty good. And the best that I could do with the limitations of this. Uh, post in the comments if you guys are buying an Xbox Design Lab controller. Or if you've designed any controllers, go ahead and post them in the comments. Uh, personally, I can't wait for mine. It should be coming soon. Oh, and you could add a laser engraving to it. But I don't know. I, I think it would just ruin it. Uh, Papa Franco. <laughs> Pop Franco. Papa Franco. And it's like 10 more dollars. Like, uh, I think... Whoa! Oh, wait. Never mind. I think $80 is already too much for it. And adding like 10 more on it, it's just like, nah. You can you keep your words off my controller. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys later.